Okay, welcome to a special video. Um, so as mentioned in the description, we did a shopping day. So me and my mum went into town and we decided to pick up a couple of things because we haven't actually been shopping. Oh, that looks really nice. We haven't really been like shopping as a duo since before COVID. Um, we used to love it. We always used to love going into town together. So we thought it'd be nice to do it this week. Give us something to do and seeing as shops are open again. We are so happy. So I'll just show you the fit for today. I've got this from Sheen. This from Sheen. This is actually a dress. And then I've got ripped jeans from Sheen as well. And then tights underneath, of course, because it's still cold. Um, but I'm still getting myself ready. Mum's just having a little bit more sleep because she didn't get to sleep last night. And then, yeah, but I will see you in a bit. We're at the bus stop now. Oh yeah, heading yeah. into town. I got ready already. Just waiting for the bus because it should be here in about five minutes. Think kind thoughts for us, for a few people yeah. out there. And yeah, um, still remember your social distancing, guys, because we've been looking at stuff and going, we don't want to go into town. But yeah, um, I'll do a bit of vlogging whilst we're there though, um, if I can, if I remember, and then we'll do a haul when we get back. Yeah, she might. I might be going to bed, because I'm tired. We will be doing a haul when we get back. Okay. <laughs> See you in a bit. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, I did a little bit of- Why did you just burst a bag of crisps? <laughs> I didn't. I, um, to watch it. <laughs> I know. Um, I did a bit of photos which you would have seen and a tiny bit of recording but not much. Um, I wish I did a bit more but it was very busy so I wasn't comfortable with it. Yeah, um, and, and like people were just standing around randomly talking yeah. and we were like, we don't want to get another people's way. Mm -hmm. There are people waiting in a queue outside to get in. That queue is double the length it would normally yeah. be. Let's just get on with stuff. Yeah, so we just tried to be in and out of most of the stores as quickly as possible. I think Dunelm was the only one we kind of plotted around and kind of had a mute and we are very happy with stuff we got from Dunelm. But that will be later on in the video. Yes. Um, And I don't know if Mum wants to do the try-on haul with her stuff, but I'm definitely going to do a try-on haul with all my stuff from Primark. Show no. off what I got. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, just because I got Because I just wear clothes. <laughs> they yeah. are clothes. Yeah, and then it's me. I will show them on camera this time to talk about yes. the haul, but I'm not posting photos of myself, sorry. That's fine, I'm going to do a try on haul, so there will be photos as well um, of that. I do have to mention though, we were like picking up, like, so we went into Primark, we picked up a couple of t shirts. This lady was like straightening up the areas, they do. Lexi apologised for moving the t shirts because. Uh, so, no, so what happened was I was trying to get one for mum, and I, I said, I'm picking them up very carefully so I don't mess up. You're like, because you folded them nicely. She's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, it's fine, I don't want to mess up. I'd feel really horrible if I had. Um, and then we went round the corner to look at the jumpers. Which like, she was folding then. Yep. And then I, Lexi said to me, there's none in your size. And I'm like, is that your way of saying your mother's fat? And the lady just turned and I was so shocked. And then I realised because we were wearing yeah. face masks, no one could tell that I was smiling when I said it. No one could tell and, we were joking. And I'm like, it's okay, we do this to one another yeah. all the time, but this woman looked properly scandalised. Yeah, because so like, you look at us, no offence, but we are completely different sizes. I'm not entirely certain if she didn't realise we were mother and daughter, and no. that was what the shock was. <laughs> I mean, I think like... she probably thought we were just mates and... Or sisters, because we yeah. look a bit like. Um, so it was kind of like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just a look on her face, and I'm like, I'm sorry, it was a joke. <laughs> Even I was like, whoa, mum, thanks, make me look like a horrible daughter. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> But it was just, honestly, I didn't expect the woman to just, like, she oh. whipped right so fast. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. You can't see me smiling under this mask, but honestly, I'm laughing so hard right now. Yeah, because she knew I was completely embarrassed. <laughs> it was just like, but yeah, the, the only sizes they had were small and extra small, which mm. is just like... Neither of us. Well. Well. 
No, I can't fit. Like, you have to put a slit down the back for me to wear an extra small top so it could fit. <laughs> I can wear... Very broad at the shoulders. Theory, I theoretically could wear small jumpers, but I do not like them. I prefer... I prefer going a size above what I should. But the thing is, with hoodies as well, you want them to be baggy yeah, so they're slightly just... uncomfortable. Yeah, I prefer really baggy jeans, um, which you but, know gets like, really funny because I'm always nicking mums. But we were talking about it when we went upstairs. All of the boys' hoodies looked perfect. Yeah. You know, all of the guys' hoodies looked perfect. And then we looked at the... There was one <laughs> hoodie I nearly got from the guys. And then I realised I can't because of what happened in a recent um, episode. I'd feel like I just in my head. Well, we're not comfortable wearing the Captain America shield for a couple of weeks. Let's yeah. just put it that way. And if you've watched the program, don't spoil it for others in the yeah. comments. Yeah, um, but we're not going to spoil it. It's it's just a whoa that went dark. Um, if you got Disney Plus, I think it's Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's um, the one. The, the... Well, it's a new episode tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, but like, like it, it's not. We'd be at the darker end of the Marvel Universe anyway, mm -hmm. but it got really, really, like... Yeah. Like, the last five minutes of that last episode was just jaw-droppingly uh, I'm dark. shocked. But that's all we're going to say about it, because we don't want to spoil it too much. Um, but if you can watch it, please yeah. do, because, like, we'll be talking about it eventually. Yeah. Um, I need to sit down and watch the whole thing, because I've skipped, like, six episodes. She, did, she just sat down next to us, and it was like, why are you watching this? You haven't seen the other... F well, there's only six episodes total, so you skipped four. Yeah. But they're an hour long, rather than one divisions, which were 45 minutes. Mm. Also, one division and another one. Recommend. Mm. Should we get into the haul? We should. Okay, so this is all the stuff from Primark. Because um, we thought, why not just do Primark first? And, yeah. Yeah. So... Um, Mum's going first. Yeah, well, she made me go first last time and we're just doing it again. Um, I'm kind of stitch mad, as you'll see as I hold up things. So I got these socks. They're just so adorable. Everybody makes me wear socks when I'm wandering around because I don't actually like them. But there's been occasions now, like when I've been on, I need to go for an iron transfusion or something. I need to be in socks, trainers and jeans because I'm cold, because I'm needing an iron transfusion basically so we've been picking up these socks occasionally for me but these are just adorable mm, yeah. they're darling and i like stitch yeah uh, I, I like disney in general to be fair but stitch is my favorite so yeah i picked these up and there was a cry of you're changing brands how dare you um yeah so they're shorts well, um, not so i've got this weird thing i like sets Okay. Yeah, she, she likes me to stick to my character, so yeah. I'm allowed Bambi, I'm allowed the Lion King now, and Stitch. Yeah, whereas I literally am only allowed Winnie the Pooh, so, you know... But it's... that is her choice, and yeah. I also wear Winnie the Pooh because I've got some Tigger t-shirts. Yeah, but, like, that's just mainly for clothing, and I think it was Winnie the Pooh that I got, I can't remember. So it is it's... Winnie the Pooh. No, I don't mean today, I mean another time. I... Yeah. Um, yeah, it was Winnie the Pooh, because it was Winnie the Pooh PJs. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so I... Weird thing with sets, so when she picked that up and it wasn't Stitch, I was like, Mum, you've just betrayed. But you've... there were no Stitch shorts, I know, so what but... could I do? <laughs> Gone with that. So yeah, speaking of Stitch... Yeah, let's go back to Stitch. We, we are kind of discussing that they seem to have upsized slightly. Yeah. I don't believe that's actually my size, even though we picked it up in the size I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Is that visible on camera? Yeah, that's visible on camera. Oh, good. Um, So we may be taking it back and trading it for a smaller size, but that's one of my Stitch t-shirts. But this was actually the one I spotted first. It looks like a university t-shirt. Yeah. You know, like the, the letter t-shirts they do for unis. And I just think that's adorable, basically. Yeah. But again, it I It actually says something at the bottom. It says Ohana, which means oh, okay. family. Yeah, but they are so cute. But yeah, um, every single time anything Stitch shows up in Primark, yeah. um, there are very few that I've passed up on, put it that way. Um, and the few that I have passed up on have either not been in my size or they've been pink, which I don't like. Yeah. Or they've been fluffy. Or they've been fluffy, because I don't I don't like the... Fluffy PJs. I don't like the fluffy PJs. I don't like the... I the, used to. Teddy PJs, yeah. although we do have teddy blankets now. Yeah. But I just... That's later. Yeah. I, I used to like the fluffy P. I used to prefer fluffy PJs to mm. normal, but I can't stand them anymore. So yes, I've done some of mine, so you may do okay. some of yours. Um, okay, so why don't I do my Disney ones first, just because they're kind of cute, and you know. I mean, Primark do really cute yeah. Disney stuff. Um, we do love the Primark Disney, but as mentioned, I am Winnie the Pooh, so I got this. 
And, and actually, she got it for a bargain price. Yeah. It was cheaper than it even we realised at first because it was reduced. So I think I'd noticed that and just hadn't clocked it on. Yeah, but, but I was delighted with that. Yeah, so I got that. And then I also got the pair of shorts to go with it. So this is going to be like... I spotted the shorts and thought, oh, that would be a really cool thing to pick up. And then mum was like, you never wear shorts. Because I'm always in like jeans or skirts or like dresses and that. I don't really wear just shorts. But if we're getting those dextures from the garden, yeah, but if that we get... outfit for sitting out in the garden and yeah. just reading and sunbathing would be cool. Yeah, so like what the plan is, is this outfit's not going to be like a running around or going to college. I, I Maybe the top, but not the shorts. I'm not comfortable with that. Um, but This will be the summer that you totally get comfortable with wearing shorts because we've got a push bike in the conservatory and you can tone yeah. your legs. Yeah, but like um, they'll be for if we're just hanging around in the garden or something. Um and I don't need to be like around too many people and all that. And it's just like kind of like comfy clothes. Um, but yeah, so I'd pick them up and then I'll show a couple of the tops I got. I'm waiting until you say, uh, yeah. mom. Got this. I love it. I got it, I think, a size above what I should have. Yeah, but we talked about that because we thought yeah. it should be baggy. But yeah, we couldn't so see any more of them yeah. anyway. So we thought, for me, this one should be baggy. I'd prefer it baggy, and it means it's kind of long on me. Um, we I, have since noticed imperfections on it, though, yeah. so we might be taking it back. So we might be taking it back to see if we can get it replaced. Um, it's really cute. It says, welcome every day with positive energy and vibes, which for me is a really good thing to think about because I don't welcome most days positively. Um, We're working on it. We are working on it, but for me, having... It, it, it's a... Feature of mental health in our family yeah. that's very common that we, we struggle with positive yeah. self-image and thoughts and stuff. And although she's happily talking away on camera and stuff, crippling anxiety from both of us. Um, you know, um, she and I came home and just kind of, oh, okay. it was like, I want to cry now, but we're yeah. home, so it's okay. Um, but I've started to decide I'm going to start getting more kind of like mental things that could tie into mental health like i got a top from asda just before christmas saying my superpower is positivity or something like that yeah. just because it wearing that you holding my stitch statue yeah for mother's day wearing that top yeah wearing that top. just because for some reason when i'm wearing them i do feel a bit more confident i do feel a lot happier in myself so going so, on just, to... uh, uh, so i know the size of that which placebo is, it, no it's it's because you can see it and you're, giving, you're reading it back to yourself and giving yourself a positive affirmation yeah. you just then need to learn to do it when you're not wearing yeah. it which is the harder part which is also why we wear socks actually yeah. i just wear them because i can't be and then i also got this one which i don't really buy ones that just have block words but i thought it was kind of cute and it was another positivity one and this one said keep your dreams big and your worries small Yep. Which for me, I kind of feel is important because I do worry a lot and I do want to keep my dreams a lot bigger. And then lastly, before I go back to mum... I was going to say, I have a positivity one to show off if you want to do that one now. Okay, mum will quickly show a positivity one off. So I have one that says, make today magic. Now, Lex and I started noticing these ones in Primark last year and I got one that said, c'est la vie. Two years ago for NaNoWriMo because we picked it up the, the yeah. week before NaNoWriMo and I was battering around in that... So I Nana wanted Rimo's to steal it. Well, you might be able to. Um, I was battering around in that top for Nana Remo, yeah. and it was just like, look for the girl with the French on her top and the long red hair. And that was how everybody found yeah. me the first week. And there was like 30 people there. And it was yeah, like... that was a manic one. So Nana is a project that yeah. Lex and I do for writing. And we won't it, talk about it now because no. it's not to do with the halls. But if you want to hear more about it, we will do a video on it later. Just tell us about... Just say, tell us about it. and we'll... Yeah, we did do a live on Facebook back yeah. in November but we will do a bit more about it I was in fact participating this month but I've kind of taken I've just kind of stopped for now because things got, have been a bit wild yeah and what I was the story I was doing became a, really stressful for me because it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to and stuff happened but yeah back to the hole because we keep sidetracking we do but like um, I think we'll be filming a video on Nana Room on writing and yeah we'll be doing off the covers and stuff yeah but I also got this one, which is just rose with the pink line going Swash through. Down it. Um, and I a hand. Just... Oh yeah, there's a hand. I didn't notice the hand. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I do love flowers. Um, we um, actually we actually have all the stock images to make these. Yeah. 
But we just keep seeing them in the shops and going, it's two fifty for a t shirt. Let's do that instead. Yeah. Um but I just thought it was really cute and I spotted it and I was like I instantly wanted it. And for me it's just yeah, that's I'm... one of just the pretty ones. So yeah. back to mum. Sorry. Some of her stuff. No, it's fine. No, no, it's just that you yeah, got that go and then I picked up this one, which is a it just says lavender. Um Lex and I are pretty fond of our lavender. It's in all of our pillow sprays that we sleep with. And yeah. We discovered a brand called um, Feather and Down. Yeah, I um, have mentioned it many times. And we cannot sing their praises enough. No, Both of us can't. absolutely adore it. We stock up on it whenever it's on offer on Amazon. Yeah. It goes on offer on Boots. I think actually it was the first time we ever got it on Boots and found a Thursday, yeah. uh, the Tuesday flash offer. I think it might have And been. it was all the sleep stuff. And we were looking at all of them and going, which one do we want? And we just looked at the box and it was blue and gold and it was like, that one looks nice. Yeah. And since then, like, I'm actually debating in the next few weeks doing another big stock up of it. Um, mainly of the pillow spray because I use that pillow spray every night. Yeah. I mean, and like, I have a box of pillow spray because like we, we grabbed, what was great was at Christmas there were some in the sales. Yeah. So it was like... It was already on sale and then half price. Yeah. So you'll have seen it in her haul video yeah. for the sales. Um, but we buy the bath oil we, that turns to milk. We buy the bubble bath. Oh, the we bubble bath. The I adore spray. the bubble bath. We've got the... I use the cam bam. That's what's called. It's a tiny little jar yeah. that's the concentrated pillow spray. Um, I have the moisturiser or something. We've both got the moisturiser because I've got the big one for the bathroom. And you use the souffle because I don't like it. Oh, it's, it's the souffle texture. I'm thinking of. But yeah, we, we really like them. I mean... Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't get any today. No, we didn't. Um, we we got... did actually discuss where it vanished to those yeah. boots. Because we were in boots and we are like, I haven't seen it. Um, we, we never... So what used to happen... I, I, this has gone off topic, but it's fine. Yeah. Um, we never used to actually see it in store. We only ever used to see it online. And it was always very weird because we were like, why is it online? But you can never see it in store. Because that's why it took us so long to find... like find out about feather and down because it was never in store and we never Actually, ordered online i, I found out that, that it had only been launched a month before we actually found oh, it okay well um oh wow mm. <laughs> um but like we to start with we didn't really buy online i think just for the first like year of me having my boots account we only had to use it like three times yeah now whenever the boot sale happens i get a message in the morning going it looks quite interesting and i'm sitting yeah, there going i hope you're ready for that tomorrow <laughs> we have a lot of makeup yeah. we did the boot sale we have a lot of makeup so my partner who like watches us with dry amusement because he's the one that brings in all the boxes um was talking to me about the fact that over lockdown we've actually been getting more from boots but everything we've got has been a serious bargain yeah i mean i think the biggest one that we got was all that moisturizer yeah so it was the number seven hydro luminous which i did say about and it's it, really good stuff actually. massive saving but yeah really really good go stuff. back to the haul because we kind of yeah off track anyway so i have just a couple of more things to show off yeah um, while she's doing that i'm going to move some of the stuff i've already shown i got a it's like a gypsy it's top really um, which I think is really, really nice. I just like light and airy and back rig around the garden kind of thing. And then I got, because I'm so broad on the shoulders, most women's shirts don't fit me and most men's shirts aren't tailored properly. But every so often Primark brings back their tailored shirts. So they're not hugely tailored. Yeah, so I'm probably so my size, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, they're not hugely tailored and they are like, I'm saying that my t-shirts are too big. But the t-shirts stretch where these don't. And what I have to do is bring in the darts at the back so that they sit better. But I like these because I've got a white one and a black one yeah. now. But every so often I just keep an eye out for them because they're just like really comfortable. And then when I need to look like an adult, I can. Yeah. Because apparently wandering around in the t-shirt when you're 42 with cartoon characters on isn't acceptable. So I have a, a white one and I have a black one. Yeah. So I'm going to re-dart the back because I know how. Like he's sitting there going, what are you talking about? No, um, I got a notification that my light didn't work and I was checking the time. Ah. Um, so I'm going to redart the back so that it sits slightly better, so it's slightly tailored. Um, but yeah, and if I ever get back into my corsets, I can wear them under my corsets. So that would work. I have a corset too. She does. She's still one of mine. Yeah. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So 
I'm going to show you just like some of the like mainly essential as I call them um, for me just because the other stuff I've shown is not really like essential but it's like nice so I use these fluffy socks for under my boots um, what you guys probably will not notice is if I'm wearing my knee-high boots I usually have really high socks and I will pull my socks to higher so right now my socks are literally just under my knee and it just helps hold the boots on so it looks like she's wearing welly boots when her, her knee high boots are yeah off. um i came downstairs and mum was like please tell me you're wearing your boots i'm like of course i'm wearing my boots why would you think i'm not and she's like well you've got your socks up high and it looks ridiculous i'm like i didn't say it looked ridiculous i said it looked like you were wearing wellies yeah but i just do it because it helps hold the boots in place a bit better and i find it comfier but if because i've got a pair of normal boots not my hiking high... size boots so yeah ankle level ones uh, okay so i did want to wear them but because the boots hurt i couldn't um so i was gonna wear them one day and i just couldn't wear them because they hurt too much i was supposed to be wearing them in this um break but i completely forgot about it so i'm going to be starting to try and get it so that they don't hurt and these sort of things are really good yes they're not boot socks they're fluffy socks we've only seen boot socks once in primark yeah. and we should have bought more pairs yeah and that was the first time we bought me boots we bought the boot socks as well because yeah. we thought it'd be better but the lesson there is whenever we see anything that says boot mark boot socks in primark we buy like three sets yeah but i adore using the fluffy socks and no one actually really notices that they're fluffy socks that shouldn't be there people probably just think oh yeah she's just wearing it's coming but yeah so i got them i also it's got. actually a really good life hack though. If your boots are uncomfortable or they're just slightly too big, wear thicker socks. Yeah. Because if you can't go up the size because the, they'd be too really too big then, or you can't go down the size because they'd be too small, the thicker socks mean that you get less blisters because you're not rubbing as much. Yeah. Life hack. Yes, I know. That's why you made me get them because I hadn't really worn boots much. Hmm. But yeah, I also got tights. Um, these are like a necessity for me, so I got two like two sets. So I've got now six pairs um yes but you're not gonna have six pairs for long because the reason you no. buy them all the time is because the cat trips them yeah so my cats have a tendency to sit on my lap mainly Haley, and then she'll like treadle me and when she runs off her claws will get caught and rip my tight so at one she point she doesn't do it deliberately no i know she doesn't do it deliberately so that's why i try and always buy loads i think in a year i go through like i've thrown out about 20 pairs in the last <laughs> year yeah but, you know, that might have been two years worth because I just keep forgetting to throw them out. But yeah, so I got two packs. Also, how many are in a pack? 100. 60. So this right, is 120. Okay, them. Yeah. So this is 120 hair bands. Um, I usually only buy my hair bands from Primark, but due to the pandemic, I did kind of have to buy them from other places and where I could. I'm not sure, like, we need to do brand loyalty with hair bands. No. I think the bigger difference is she doesn't like... I don't so like I wear... the metal. So she doesn't like the metal ones because they snap. And then I wear, um, I wear something called a pop band. I did have one, but I've moved it and I don't I know where... I have one over here. Yeah, I've got it. Ah, so, so I wear pop bands, like which that. is basically a, a piece that. of elastic tied together in a knot at the end. Yeah. So I wear them because they don't leave marks on my hair and I just like them. I, I buy them a hundred at a time and stick them in a jar downstairs, whereas I don't I prefer she not doesn't. to. She she prefers to wear the these. Yeah. And when we're wearing our hair in formal braids, these are better because yeah. they, they hold tighter. Yeah. But yeah, so I thought I'd grab two packs and I'm just gonna put most of these away. Cause... I'm gonna have to go out and buy a brown pack because I can't yeah. wear the black ones. And then I forgot myself some more of these. I have got loads of these somewhere. Um I just kind of feel like I prefer having loads, even though I don't actually use them, surprisingly. I always buy them, but I never use them. She never lets me do what I want to do with her no. hair, which is braid it all up and pin it with them, because that's what yeah. I do with my hair, and she loves, she says it looks beautiful at the back of my hair, but she's like, I'm not saying for that. No. But and you then know, the closest we got was, um... The wedding. Yeah, the, the... When you... Stepdad's... Yeah. Dad's wedding. When, when you'd um, braided my hair and made it into and, a bun. We were wandering around calling it unicorn bark, but you had um, yeah, a hairband. I, I think that hairband was from Primark too, actually. actually yeah, it was, it was. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, we tend to buy a lot of things from Primark. Yeah. Next is pyjamas. Now, it's got a checklist on, so it's weekend checklist, and it says, one, wake up, two, get coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I thought it was cute. She does drink coffee. She's Not discovered often. she likes lattes. 
yeah not i don't drink them often though and then three go back to sleep anybody that drinks coffee and goes back to sleep is not drinking the right coffee no. apparently um whereas i don't drink coffee at all unless it's nanorimo because try and stop me from yeah. bouncing around like an absolute loon yeah so i got those pjs next i'm just going to show you one i think but i got them in three different colors um we consider these utility tops. She can either wear them underneath something or she can wear them at night or yeah. whatever. But so we, we consider them utility tops. They're not... They look a bit like cropped vests. Yeah. Because, like, originally really... she showed me them and I said, what are they selling them separately now? Because they look like some of the sports bras that yeah. they do. But the difference is they've got no cups in them. Looked... They're not padded. Um, they're utility vests. Yeah. But I so got... they're, they're cropped vests. Yeah, so I got a white, a grey and a black just because I... Wear a lot of black, as you can see. Um, I do prefer just black clothes for some reason right now. I thought the grey, because it's going to start getting warmer, so I'm not going to really want dark clothes. And then the white is just for if I really am just too warm. I've got a white one that will not hold heat. Also, that pink t-shirt you've got with the positivity quote on it is see-through. Yeah. yeah, so I can wear one of them under that. Yeah. Next is, of course, I got jeans. I always buy jeans. Yeah, we wondered and we're like, oh my god, they've stopped making the ones I like because they've moved them because we like the, the super high. Yeah, so we use the super high skinny waisted. Yeah, both of us absolutely adore them. Yeah. They are the best jeans in the world. They are so comfortable. Yeah, I don't, I'm not wearing them now because I'm wearing sheen ones. Yeah, but like they are our, yeah. like, one of our favourite types of jeans. In but... Primark, they're my go-to jeans. Yeah. Um And yeah, so I picked up a pair and I may be picking up another pair. I'll see how I feel. I also got this. Guess it's like a decoration for my room because I thought it was mm. cute. What actually happened was yeah, I want to explain it. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, except we. So we were sitting up here on, I think it was Saturday night. No, we were sitting together Saturday and talking about whether things we, would be open and planning things. No, it was no, Monday. it was Monday night. Yeah, and then you went and looked on one of the websites that was showing all the must-haves from Primark, and that was in it. And you're like. I'm gonna cry if it's not there. I'm like, you're probably gonna cry because it'll be sold sold out. But like, there was two of them in the end. That was there was that one, and then a white one with vines wrapped. Yeah, on it. and I kind of thought, I said to mum, which is more me, the one with vines or this? It's pink. You can you can kind of tell. So it looks like wood, and she was like the wood one. I think. I think the, the wood one, and like it will reason, go with my theme as well. The reason I suggested that is she can put like washi tape and stripes or something over yeah. it, and it'll be like. Geometric. Yeah, I am also debating painting this just because I don't like the feel of it. Yeah, but we can deal with that later. Yeah, and then the last thing that I got from Primark, which is an absolute yeah, steal, at least that we're showing, um, is this dress. That's a top, and then it just kind of. I just want you to pause for a second and think about how much you think that dress would be. Yeah. Like, it's a really nice dress. It actually, it's nice material. Oh my god, it's actually quite long. It is. It, it's <laughs> going to be, it, it's a proper summer dress. It's, it, it looks like a Bardo style dress, so it's it's properly carved and yeah. nice. And I saw it and I went, I like that. And then she went, I like it too. And I'm like, I'm not buying the same dress as you. And she's like, well, I'm getting it. And I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah. So, yeah, we saw that. But the reason it's a steal is because it's six pounds. Yeah. So I thought a dress like this would probably be about 14 15 Because it's a nice, and it's from Primark. So, like, it's not going to be I'm like... I'm not going to do them in different colours. I so know. I can get one. Yeah. So mum was like, like, put six pounds. I'm like, add it to the basket. Just go. But, yeah. yeah that is our complete Primark haul. Yes. Almost. Almost. We've left a couple of things out, but they're just like stuff that's not really appropriate to show or just don't. we're not comfortable either or we just don't need to show them because yeah. they're just like stuff yeah but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all this stuff so that we've got a bit of space and then we're gonna show you what we got from dun elm yes so yeah we'll see you in a sec and we're back with the dun elm we've organized it yeah um we spent as much in Dunham actually. No. But we did spend quite a bit. And we're happy with what we got. The thing about Dunham is when we go in we always pick up things that we like. So it, it's not like frivolous it's, stuff. It's not like necessities really. But, it, but it's not frivolous either. So it, it's stuff that is for our comfort. Yeah. So we'll, 
Coplex and I are fairly tactile, so we like certain textures. Yeah. And when we saw some of them were on offer, we were just like, when? Okay. Should I go first yeah. this time? Okay. So I think I'll start with this and then you can get your one. <laughs> okay. So first thing, we, this is actually the very first thing we picked up was these. It's a 10 piece face cloth set. So it's got white and pink. Yes, I know. I don't really need 10 of them. Yeah, you do. Because like use one to wipe everything off and then a yeah. second one to dry your face and then a third one to wash your face in the morning and that's three already and then they go in the wash as soon as you use them yeah so like face cloths are super versatile i yeah. bought 10 off amazon that are purple and she's been trying to steal them since they no, turned up no i didn't like them because you offered me some and i didn't like the feel of them all right okay but um, you then said that you wanted some of your own yeah um i would won't only use them for face gloss i might use them just to wipe down a surface if i need to but they'll just probably go in a little box in my room once my room is sorted and they're just gonna be like a grab and go yeah but they were very awesome yeah next we picked up a this teddy towel? bear hand towel i will depending on the size actually yeah i might use this for my hair i'm gonna see how i feel and see as long as it's not tight well, so yeah. not straight after dying no i would never do it straight after dying um or i would use it when just getting out the bath or something or if i'm in the bath and i need to just wipe my face or something because my bath's really warm i'll use face something for. like this but it's a teddy bear one so it's really soft and it's really nice and we actually preferred them over the egyptian cotton ones yeah. which surprised me i think so and then i also got the normal just bath towel one which is a meter by a meter and a half yeah because i was like is it gonna is it like big enough and mum pulled it out and i was like that's definitely big enough and then she folded so, it nice and neat for me again mm -hmm. and but, along with them we got the boys well because like so our house is on three levels so yeah. there's the bathroom on the middle floor that's got the shower and then my bathroom which has got just a bath so when i say i've got the boys towels what i mean is they're going in the middle floor bathroom um so we got a grey one of each the like, same ones that so a grey bath and a grey face and, but they're also the teddy ones so that yeah, like if we have nice guests over they'll be nice yeah so we have them for the middle floor as well um i can't stop stroking them they're nice. i know they are nice um i also and you'll have to let me finish before you go oh my god like no no that's always for let me finish I got this bath mat, so it's for in a bathroom. Before anyone goes, oh my god, like you, you've got like your brother and your stepdad. They're not gonna want a pink bath mat. It's not for the bathroom. We've actually got one for the bathroom. Mm. Um, this is for once my room is done. We're actually gonna put it under my desk, so I have something nice and soft to have my feet on when it, I'm sat at my desk because my carpet can be quite rough, and if I've got bare feet. I may not want to be sat on my desk for too long. I was also going to suggest that you might want to like pack that in your camera bag for lying on when you're yeah. taking photos. Which would also be good because when I'm lying on it, it's nice and soft and it's like it's really fluffy and it's really nice. Like, I can't stop stroking it because mm. it's so nice. But it was in the like the last of the we found it in the remainder section yeah. basically. There was, so it, it was in... it was one off basically yeah. in that section. And it's because we were like, what am I going to use it for? And then mum was like, well, you could put it on your desk. I'm like, yeah. The actual bath mat, though. Yeah, which is also soft. Yep. Um, Which we got in grey because, you know, the boys. There, we, we have multiple bath mats. None of them are pink. We go grey, green, blue. Well, we do have pink ones that I wore in the bathroom for a while that were mine. Yeah. That came home with me and that I never got back. Uh, I don't know where they are. Which were my heart ones that I had at Colm. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are either. Are you in a pile somewhere? Yeah, probably but yeah i also it's something mum didn't get i got myself a new umbrella because i'm always losing my umbrella i have like three of them now um that i've bought literally just since starting college this year but this but one's that one's a, teeny tiny this one's teeny tiny and it's in a nice little case and i'm hoping i'm not going to lose this one give it about three months and i'm gonna be mom i need a new umbrella three weeks no longer than three weeks i'm not that bad mm. um but yeah so it's teeny tiny and i really like the pattern yes so yeah but mum didn't get one no because she doesn't need one no i don't do umbrellas no um next we both got we didn't get same scent we got different scents 
So I got... Uh, we discovered these were like £10 on Amazon, but you can yeah. get them for £6 in Dunelm. Yeah. So we were like, well, let's just pick some up in Dunelm. So the, the last time we went in, we picked up a couple. So I've got Japanese Blossom up here. We've got Highland for downstairs, I think. No, I um, think I've got Highland. Or you've got Highland. I have... I think I have three from Dunelm this size. So this is now my fourth. I've got two little ones and I've also got some that are from Amazon as well. I need to put them all in like a box or something. Yeah. But we we've got reed diffusers so we like them basically. Yeah. Um it it's just that they smell nice. Yeah, because we're tactile, we're also very scent motivated. Like yeah. when we're talking about the feather and down stuff, the reason it works so well is it's got so much lavender in it. Um so we we just like that stuff, basically. Um Sorry, I'm going to stick my phone on it. Um, but yeah, so... So I got Nordic Shores and you got Sahara Gold. Yeah, which is very, very sweet. And I just wanted a nice sweet but one. I found, I found one that I liked, but it was a limited edition and I didn't want the Reed Diffuser bottle yeah. that it came in because it looked gaudy. <laughs> yeah. We didn't so really. I'll need to see if they issue in a bottle. Yeah. It's from their Fifth Avenue range. So I'll need to see. And it was Ginger Lily and Amber, I think. And it was mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah. Okay, next... We both got these, but we got different colours, because, you know. So we've got two sizes. I know, I've just... The one thing that's, like, right at the bottom. I'm just going to shove the lid so they know yeah. what colour I got. So this is the colour I got. I got yeah. We've got two of each size, yeah. but this is the colour I got. Okay. Um, one thing why we're so intrigued by these and we actually really wanted them. For me, it was mainly because this is going to do me so much good. We actually like the like we picked up a couple from Tesco when yeah. lockdown started I've last year. Already and shown just, how many of them I have. We we just collect them. They're yeah. they're so versatile. They go everywhere with us. Yeah, but so I put the lid on, and the stack. That I think that's probably going to make the difference. Is I'm yeah. going to start picking up more of these ones, but they were reduced. Yeah, we were surprised. So as they stack, we kind of thought they're really good, and it gives me a bit more storage to put some of like my valuable like. Right Anything now, that can't be squished. Yeah, yeah. So right now, my curler set, like my straight and curler set, is in a old um brownie box from Poundland that I just found because I couldn't have it in the box it was originally in because my washi tape kept falling out of the box it was in. Mm. So now that I've got these, I'm actually gonna put it in these and I might actually put my washi tape in these as well. Yeah. But we've got two little each and then two big each. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the big ones yet. But they also come with the same type of lid and they also stack. I'm thinking they're probably going to end up in my bathroom for storing my yeah. hair care stuff. I yeah. might do it for hair care. But yeah, so I got pink and mum got grey. Yeah. Um, just got that dark grey. Dark grey. Um, we like the waffle pattern as well, the Y pattern. Yeah. It's nice. It's just a different texture all again. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, we, like, I know I'm holding up a lot of grey stuff and saying it's mine, but like, the, the light grey I usually buy the light grey for the baskets but they didn't have any of these no. in light grey so I'm okay with having the, the darker steel grey but yeah it looks exactly the same colour as the, the yeah. when you put it on the same colour as the pretty much yeah <laughs> but with me I have to like I bought a couple of white ones before but I don't like having the white ones I really do prefer having pink and when Prime not Primark when Tesco stopped selling them I was really upset because it... I spent three days looking online for them, but they're discontinued yeah. now. I know, the pink ones are discontinued. But you were going to spray paint the white ones. Yeah, I was going to spray paint the white ones. Um, Home Bargains did do a couple, so I did pick a couple up from there, which is where I got my other one with a lid. Um, which right now is holding my washi tape, but I'm probably going to put my washi tape in one of those little ones because it'll be better for me. Um, when our um, diamond painting boxes show up, they'll fit in one of the little yeah. ones as a stack. I may do that actually. I may put because we've got four of them coming. Yeah, I know. But next haul video might be what comes from Holy. Yeah, or it may be something else. It may be something else. But yeah, we also let's go paper gun to get excited. I know, but that'll be in my normal vlog. Mm. We also got. I know it's nothing in there. It's just a shower cap. We've got one each. Oh, yeah, it feels we, weird. We, yeah, it's supposed to. I told it's so like I said to you, you. So like she doesn't do it the same way as me. But you put on a hair mask treatment and then you put the shower cap on. And you sit in the bath and steam, and then it makes it soak in faster. Apparently, according to all the beauty vlogs. Yeah, whereas I'd never wear a mask in my hair over whilst I'm in the bath because I just don't like it. Okay, 
This is something I got that mum didn't. Yeah, because but... I'm waiting for... I think I'm getting my pillows from Ikea. Yeah. But the reason I got this is because it's so soft and I don't have any, like, fluffy pillowcases right now. And I kind of feel like I do need them. I'm in that mind frame where fluffy is really important to me for some reason. Um, I have got a fluffy throw that I got from... I think I got it from B&M like two years ago, three years ago. Um, and I have also got white ones as well, but I've got a pink one, which is about the same shade. So. I mean, we did look at getting this as a cheat for your bed and then we thought that you would cook in the summer. So Also, it was really expensive to get the sheets and I don't want really expensive sheets because I sit in my bed a lot and like I will sometimes eat chocolate or I'll have like glitter. That's my most recent thing that's gone <laughs> everywhere because I was sorting out some glitter pots. Um, and it went everywhere yes. um, and I don't really want glitter all over fluffy bedding so no. yeah but I got this and it wasn't too bad price and I'm happy because it's nice and soft and it's it's like fluffy here and then it's kind of like suede sort of feel it's here velvet, on the back. velvet that's the one and then lastly we both have one of these so we both I have, have one got... I can do it. So I got the teal peacock one. And, and I got, of course, the pink. pink um, this mother. isn't the pink throw I'm actually on about. I have another pink throw, but it's not reversible. Whereas this one, you can kind of, you can do either side. My one, I can't. Oh yeah, you've got a couple of other bits. Yeah, I've got a couple of other little bits to show off. I'm not going to show off that. We've, we've got another laundry basket because they always break yeah. in this house. But like, and I stole mum's. Yeah. So, um, didn't I'm, steal it. You've, well, got, yeah. you've got it. I've got it and I'm using it as a bin, not a laundry basket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swap with that one then use... so that I can have the collapsible one back. No, because I prefer everything. I'm not actually using it as a bin anymore, it's just when I, I was. Mm. But yeah, so this is like really nice and soft, and I'm actually really excited to curl up under it later. Yes. Um, but um, yeah. And then, like, as we've mentioned, we have a shower on the middle floor, and um, anybody that's got a shower will know that every couple of years you have to replace your shower curtains. So I have some dragonfly ones this year because. Yeah. Um, we have stripy ones that went up last year that are like just tatty now, basically. I think that's the best description for them. Mm -hmm. Um, but we have a cloth set as well up, so I'm only going to swap the plasticky ones. But I, I just thought these were like cute and they're all dragonflies and like dandelions because we like them in the house. And then because we've been doing a lot of bread and baking, we like, um... 100% cotton to cover over the bowls when it's proofing because yeah. it lets them breathe so we decided to get towels that are specifically for that because I have a weird thing about cross-contamination which I know a lot of people are like yeah that's a good thing to be um cautious about but I'm so cautious about it that we have a cupboard which is just cat food and then it's got a couple of electrical items on yeah. the second shelf and then like it a has towels. it's got some towels in a dry i refuse to let any other food live there yeah but that's fine but like so and we decided I, but i i wanted to get some because, for it because <laughs> we like we have there's four slots for towels yeah. by the kitchen yeah. and they get swapped twice a week because we've got a very busy kitchen because there's four adults in the house now yeah. and then um because i've always done it we have a huge chopping board that you'll maybe seen in some of the pictures yeah if you follow um the our adventures baking one you would have seen the chopping board i'll put description down below i was supposed to do that when i was saying the description thing but i just they know where it'll be um so the last time we took pictures while we were using it when it wasn't embarrassing because it was absolutely covered in everything was when we got all the ice and sugar and we had the outline of the fork um but what I do is I put terry towels below them so A, it doesn't slip when we've got something that we're mixing and B, so that um, the underside doesn't mould because it, it's right next to the cooker so the steam and everything else so you get terry towels to stick underneath and it just lines the underneath of the board and protects it. That board, I actually found out recently that board's at least 20 years old. It's because my mum gave me it. Yeah, so, so it's older than me. It, it's been looked after. It's been... On, it's been with me since I moved to my first flat um, and it wasn't new then uh, it was past time um, and like you can do so like there's certain things we do that with in our family so we've got cast iron that'll be passed down pots and pans will be passed down like old ones that yeah, we've got but specifically that cast iron one that I bought recently will probably be treasured by someone eventually me 
yeah probably um but like that it's just nice to know that it's been passed through family hands that have done the same baking that we've done yeah and you know i'm hoping to get that chopping board i know that sounds a really weird thing to say like oh i really want the chopping board but it's because like i've done a lot of baking on there and i've done yeah. and like i i because it's like so much older than me i've known it my whole life i it's been there my whole life it, it's just a big I think it's a walnut chopping board, actually. Yeah. But, like, we... And once a month, it. Once, once a month, we... I bonded with it. Yeah. Once a month, <laughs> we scrub it down with either salt or... Dis so, like, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to scrub it with rough salt and then oil it. But because we use it for... It's right next to the cooker, so I have bowls of chicken when we're cooking and everything sitting on it. I disinfect it and then re-oil it. Yeah. And then we, we salt rub it if we're going to be doing... If we, between like loaves of bread we'll salt rub it to take the flour off um, and like when we're cooking i will sometimes if i'm right by the cooker and i need to quickly chop something i will just use that chopping board so uh, it's we have so many chopping boards in the house so we've just bought a brand new bamboo one for bread which we absolutely yeah. adore for yeah but one of them's going in the bin because it's warped the wooden one or the blue one the wooden one okay I'm going to get a new one of the blue ones because it funnels stuff because it's all scraped and yeah but it's plastic and then now mm -hmm. that we've got that board and we can stick terry towels underneath yeah. it I've, it's not warped it just sits at a funny angle it's just that so mm. that's fine it's just missing one of its little feet underneath and then i bought a brand new bamboo one in Lidl a couple of weeks ago because we just like having a yeah. wooden chopping board for the fun. kettle is for making either tea on or cutting up yeah tiger bread mm. yeah. oh now you make me want tiger bread can bake some tomorrow we still have some yeah you're gonna have to eat that because that'll be like hard now and then whatever's left over from what we bake or what we buy from the store we actually put out for the birds yeah. because the cats are bell now loud enough that the birds can hear them coming <laughs> but like we'll just take once we like slice stuff up we'll take all of the crumbs and just chuck on the grass yeah. for the birds so it's another reason I really like the wooden boards because you know there's no way the birds are going to be picking up any chemicals off them because once you've oiled it, all that's on it is either the olive oil or like we, we alternate between olive and sesame oil. Yeah, sesame seed oil and whenever we're baking we always put a little bit extra sesame seed and a little less olive oil in our bread because I adore That's it. how tiger bread tastes like, tiger bread. Yeah, I absolutely adore it and it's the point where she'll mix them together and she'll leave the tub there because i and love the separate. smell of it no it's once you poured it in yeah you'll we, leave we the, tub, the tub so we can um because i absolutely adore the smell of it we we, we like the smell of um sesame oil mm. especially when it's baked but we haven't gotten the hang of the crust over no. the top of the bread so we yet gave so we just leave that. it off we gave up on that for now. but like swapping so like 40 mils of oil goes into that bread so it i've, I've swapped it now 25 50 and that seems to be the ratio yeah. you guys like, so that's what we do. Anyway, so yeah, um, we got them, and we just that's thought true. they were pretty. Yeah. I mean, I, I really like. You were I've got a thing about, about them last. cotton. Yeah, I know, yeah. but like both of them are like limited editions. Yeah, but I just think they're nice. My and little face towels were like the set of ten were also limited edition, apparently. Yeah, but so that was mm. our Don Elm haul. Yeah, so now we're gonna because we've got stuff underneath the tripod right now um so we're gonna get all that out and then we're gonna show you boots boohoo and then i don't actually know the name of it i'm gonna have to work that out um what? where where i got her card factory no it was I a card factory it's it, one of those sorts of yeah, shops so it was so. a card shop i'll work it out because i've got the receipt yeah. but yeah we will be right back okay so we're doing a we'll do boots boohoo and misc stuff because clinton's yeah which um, is the last of the like because we didn't actually get much in these stores. Um, no. But, but we did get enough that I can't give it should be shown. Because mm. it was part of it. Well, Boohoo was theoretically yesterday. We'd ordered it, but it arrived today. And um, and the only reason we found out about it was because it came up on my um, uplift thing on my phone. Yeah. And the reason we managed to get it to arrive today and we didn't have to wait uh, a couple of days was because as I'm a student, I get premium. Which means I get free next day delivery, which... I adore and mum didn't realise about so now we know we can get some really nice pillowcases off of Boohoo because that's what they are um we can get some nice stuff off Boohoo so 
and we can get it for next day as long as we order before 10 p.m and we'd ordered quarter to 10 so i thought it's not gonna work like i get they say before 10 p.m but i don't think it's gonna work because i haven't had confirmation and i got the thing this morning saying yep yeah, it's on its way and then i was watching it to be fair though it wasn't like we needed them desperately so it wouldn't no. have mattered if they'd come tomorrow i think if it was a larger order i don't think we would have got it because it was only the two items it wasn't too bad but yeah we will show them first i think yes because they were yesterday so first one is a nice gold set they are they're pillowcases that are supposed to stop your hair from getting tangled in it and what about the type of material? they're satin they're satin so we got a gold set and a silver set so we'll be getting one pillowcase out of each so we'll have like a gold so it means literally we're gonna have a gold a purple and a silver one now yeah because um and i'm not entirely convinced that they because neither of us wake up with untangled hair even if we've been sleeping mm -hmm. on them yeah but they're just nice they're, they're because satin's always cold it's cooler it feels cooler and especially in the summer i think it'll be nice for that yeah so my purple one i have two pillows in it right now and my lamp remote lives in between the pillows and it just lives in that one and that's like a routine for me now but yeah now i have two more i can start changing them out i can and we're going to experiment and see if it actually does yeah. change anything okay so yes but that was boohoo we'd ordered that i can't remember how much they were each 650 each for the sets and they were less than half price yeah but they're really nice um we haven't actually felt the actual material because we haven't opened them yet we literally just took them out the bag now um they're satin but we know they're gonna be nice because we like our satin yes so let's go boots you can go first so one of the things that people will go why did you pick it up from boots is you can't get some of these anywhere else so like every so often i buy this stuff called Sephora, and we use it for cleaning the card boxes basically disinfecting it we have wooden floors on the bottom floor yeah so i disinfect the conservatory i disinfect the hall we do the cat boxes and then we also disinfect the middle floor bathroom because it's wooden and, and the then, kitchen and the kitchen and then i'll go around and do all the doors and handles with it and like one of those bottles lasts me because it's concentrated i'll dilute it down it lasts me maybe like a month mm. so we, we like swapping stencils so that we don't get bored because the first time i did it the kids came down and went what have you spilled because if it's oh. pine i put too much pine in it i got a bit enthusiastic and put too much pine in because i pine walked out my room my and i thought we were in a swimming pool i literally walked downstairs and said what is that smell it smells like we're in a swimming pool and mom's like oh it's this i'm like it's too i can't it's too strong well lesson learned from that i didn't realize it was that concentrated but i do now <laughs> yeah um, so she's tiny bit in so that what happens normally is one of the cleaning routines we have is lex will steam mop after i've done the disinfectant or she'll disinfect it she'll steam mop and then i'll disinfect and i don't think it matters which way around we do it it's just whoever gets there first yeah um but we have a steam mop as well that we use that has extra disinfectant in it um we've had a steam mop now since we moved to this house because it's just so versatile and it's really good for cleaning and like it's one of the like cause i can't hoover i physically not because like she doesn't like the noise i don't i hate the noise so i literally have there, to put headphones in there is literally a conversation of go put your headphones on are you yeah. gonna hoover yeah go mom, put your headphones um, on. it was like last week i think it was or the week before mom said i'll oh, go put the headphones on they're downstairs i'm like i put picked them up and then i looked at them i was like mom i can't use them she's like what do you mean i'm like the, the headphone jack i don't have that anymore she's like oh no but you could put your bluetooth ones on yeah and so put them over the i top. put my bluetooth ones on i didn't think about putting them over the top but that's how we can do it now yeah um i am actually gonna just pick up a oh you um, can pick up a jack but like so, so i'm not solely relying on bluetooth we 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 because she gets overstimulated we have I hate the noise my head starts going funny yeah <laughs> i react the same way when there's more noise i'm used to hoovers now and we actually have a fairly quiet hoover now but she still doesn't like it uh so, and it was very funny when i was at my care home because they were like you used to be fine i'm like i don't know what it is i just can't stand the noise i hate it so they had to it got to the point where when they were hoovering the hallway they'd tell me and they'd shut my door because my door was always open during the day whereas, I was I'll, there. whereas i'll she'll stay downstairs and sit on the couch with the cats because the cats don't like the hoover yeah. either so i'm already right, being in the room i just have to have my headphones on and i have to have it really loud to the point where she turned the hoover off 
And I could hear her music. Mm -hmm. And no, I think I'd forgot to turn it down. So when I put the headphones on next, it almost deafened me because it was I think battering. the next time we do it, you can put the Bluetooth tooth headphones in and then put the head the over ear yeah. headphones on. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but it'll be fine. We'll see how we go. But yeah, yes. So um, I got that from Boots because it was on offer. Um, and then we went and bought Soap and Glory because it was three for two, and I had a gift voucher from yes. Yule from the kids. Yes. Um, I'm pagan, so I celebrate Yule and Christmas. So we like, we spend like seven days celebrating and exchanging gifts at Christmas. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And because we support it, we also celebrate. Not because we want more gifts. Um, well, but so when they were little, I was the only one that would celebrate Yule. Um, I'd exchange gifts with the adults that celebrated Yule with me, and the kids would just do Christmas. But because they were small and they'd see us opening presents, they'd get a little present and not know why. But it was always something. The tradition at Yule is to give someone something small and meaningful yeah. rather than huge gifts, like swap books at Yule, my partner and I, or pens or something that like meant something to us. As we've all grown older, we've all embraced it. So come the 21st, if we're not traveling, we exchange gifts. If we are traveling on the 21st, we either do it the night before or we do it when we get there because we do tend to travel on the 21st to go home yeah um and the 21st is yule um it, it's actually one of the solar equinoxes as well so it's the longest night of the year mm -hmm. um and i think we're actually kind of lucky that and let me finish before you go whoa 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 we were lucky that we didn't get like it had been cancelled us going up north because i actually had to self-isolate on yule and we were planning on going out and i checked my phone in the morning and i messaged them saying i can't come and they were like why i'm like I've been told I have to isolate now for four days. By, the, by that point, we'd had... So I'd had my iron infusion and then ended up with shingles. So we weren't sure if we could travel because of that. Yeah. Because if I have scabs, I'm not allowed to travel because I could give people that haven't had chicken pox, chicken pox. And if you're pregnant and haven't had chicken pox, it's really bad. So when I had pregnant people at my care home, I had to be a bit careful. And we had to tell them when mum had shingles. Um, and then... The rules changed once and it was yeah. like you can only travel for these five days so yeah. we had to cut it down and then it was you can only go at christmas that's you, it you could only go christmas day and we it was physically impossible for us to drive all the way up spend christmas with our family and come back because we only have one driver in the family at the moment so and, it was and then she and... was told to self-isolate yeah. so she was self-isolating until christmas eve so all in all it worked out that we had a very quiet yule at home yeah. But we got to exchange gifts at home and it's the first time we've done that in i think six years yeah i can't remember the last time we but did it. this was also the first year that i'd got my partner's family yule gifts to give to them because it's not actually to do with christmas it's to do with relationships it's to do with reaffirming your relationship yeah. and giving a pledge on the longest night of the year it's it's about friendship and family and all of the good things that you like to celebrate yeah. that we and do also celebrate at christmas but and also because me and tom are a bit older um neither me or tom are really religious but because it's something for mum we will celebrate it and to be fair as... i'm not really that religious except on the holidays yeah so like I, I do i do religious stuff that they've always seen me do that is part of my behavior mm. but they only know it's religious if they ask or yeah someone shows them it so like we do bell team but, which like, is a fire festival yeah but which we, is near your birthday yeah but we support it and that's why we got i got um because they so yeah my stepdad also like he gave gifts as well so we did it as the four of us um again my brother I like a toiletry set thing because i just saw it in boots and thought it's something little that's what yule is meant to be just like little gifts um because that's how mum had explained it to me when I said, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like It's also because they exchange gifts at Christmas, so it's yeah. not fair to, like... So, because, like, I did get... You I get can't... to choose whether the big gift's Yule or Christmas, basically. I usually say Christmas, because... Yeah. Not because I feel Yule's any less important, but because I just prefer it um, being at Christmas. Because, yeah. Hmm. I can't remember what I got my brother for Christmas. Um, I think we oh. put together for... No, that was his birthday. No, it was Dave it was your stepdad that we put together for the headphone jack for the mic yeah that was christmas yep um so what we got your brother 
We got gifts for everyone. Yeah, it was fun. For you all, I also got a Funko Pop. What did you get me? Oh, you, Mum got me a little Ted Baker thing that she bought in front of me because she didn't know what to get me. And because I'm <laughs> yeah, <not> big, <laughs> we were in boots well, one day. Well, our stepdad were like, because I hadn't been, because I don't go out unless I'm with someone. No. So I can't go shopping and I can't order on my Amazon without one of them seeing. So it was just like, you guys have to which is also you annoying, have not seen this. Which is also annoying for me because as I use her Amazon, I when I was buying her birthday <laughs> present, or no, it was your mother's day. Yeah. I said to my stepdad, oh, can I use your account? Because it's private. I didn't want to pay for postage, not realising my first um, purchase off Amazon was free postage anyway. So, um, yeah. But he was like, D you can just create your own. I'm like, I have my own. I didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. Like, but now on, I will have to probably use his because I'm not paying postage. Unless I get it to link up. Yeah, unless we can work it out how to link it up. But yeah, it was kind of funny because I was like, I'd ordered it and they said, yeah, it'll arrive on Monday. So I was like, okay, that's not too bad. It's a couple of days before my birthday. And it arrived the next day. And I'm just like, I it arrived Mother's and day. I'm like... It was your stepdad that gave me my little... For, my, for you. Yeah, so my stepdad got her this little stitch thing for you. And I was like, I was looking at... I'm her. stitch obsessed, as yeah. I've already mentioned in the video. I was looking at like your little... We've gone off track, but hey <laughs> I was looking at like stitch gifts because I wanted to get something stitch and I just spotted it. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's like different, there's a whole pile different of ones. Them. And I spotted this one where Stitch is holding a book and reading a book. And I'm like, perfect. She's got me into writing. That is just the perfect thing for Mother's Day. And I ordered it and I was so happy. And I'd asked my stepdad, do you think she's going to like it? And he was like, she's going to love it. Don't worry. Like, she's and I, they both of them sit, so both of them sit on my desk yeah. beside me. Um, I, 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 my office is... I'm supposed to have an office in the guest room, but because we've sh shifted everything up since we're working from home, yeah. Um, my partner works in the office and I just stay downstairs on my laptop. Yeah, but we will be turning the dining room, the end of the dining room, we're going to put it into like a podcasting and recording a port studio. i'm gonna call it like a portable o portable office so it's gonna be like our office space but we're gonna be able to move this stuff so we can use the table still um but yeah that's great <laughs> yeah but let's get back to the hall yes we've been rambling. so um so, so glory <laughs> on well indulgent bathing and body care is on three for two so um i picked up three soap and glory things um the, this is a moisturiser that you put on before you dry because you seal in moisture. I like these. I've been using them from Sanctuary Spa for a while. Um, I've got a hair mask because I use, I like this hair mask. It's nice. Um, I am kind of soap and glory mad to be fair yeah. as well. And then this is their new coconut one for the summer, which is the um, dry skin remover. Um, not that I have dry skin much, but just every so often I like to kind of exfoliate my kneecaps and my shoulders and, and i get dry skin as well so if mine's really bad and i'm like mom what do i do she's like just she just slathers it on me sometimes and like oh and grabs it puts it on i'm like what is that yep. she's done that to me before i'm like you didn't even tell me what that is and it doesn't feel right mom she's like oh not that good mm. but yeah so with me i needed some more hair care because i was running out of like shampoo and conditioner but, we haven't done an Avon order in a while. No, we haven't done it. But I'm trying to stay away from one of the Avons because it makes my hair really greasy really quick. Uh, and that's because I'm putting so much oil into my hair um, that I think I've over-oiled my hair. For the I'll start with the shampoo first and then that. Okay. So this, I've never actually tried. Oh, it's actually new. That's why I haven't tried it. Um, it's I spotted more than, it. Yeah, it's called More Than a Shampoo. Um, we think it's a shampoo and conditioner. And they just don't want to say it because that sounds naff. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it's like, two in one. All right, okay. Which, oh, more than a shampoo. You know, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, if it is just a shampoo, that is perfectly fine. Um, it, it apparently cleanses like a shampoo and cares like a mask, which I think is why it's called more than a shampoo. So I don't actually think it is conditioner. But I we're going to... it's two in one and they just decided not to call it that because yeah. a mask's a type of conditioner. Yeah. But we're going to see how my hair does with this. It is, Dream Length does add oils, but it doesn't add like loads of oils. It adds just enough. I haven't been using Dream Length in a while just because I tried to do the repair stuff because my hair was getting really, really damaged. 
and it was feeling really bad and that's why I was doing like repair stuff and like loads of oils to try and get moisture back into it but my hair's in all right condition now so I'm gonna well part of that's because the, the last couple of times we've dyed that that dye's actually resealed your hair because yeah. the black dye tends to like smooth the yeah hair down and I don't understand how it works no, but I like don't either. as compared to when we started dyeing it your hair is so much better now. yeah after bleaching it my hair is that was so, such a bad idea that was a bad idea this is for like long and damaged hair but with supreme oils um not supreme oils with dream length it kind of just it makes it nice and shiny and makes it really nice but it doesn't make it oily really quick so i adore it um whereas i'm one of those lucky humans that can use any shampoo any conditioner any soap any anything like me. the coke i used to be able to and i i adored them and i'm really gutted i can't use them i actually have to use kind of a I call them expensive shampoos and conditioners, but I can't use like the one pound ones from Boots anymore. My hair just doesn't like them. It doesn't work. Mm. Um, my hair just goes really dry, which is why I'm on like Alviv, um, Avon and all. I haven't had, I've been Alviv, Avon for the last three years, pretty much. And then sometimes we substitute in Pantene when we need to Yeah, sometimes it's Pantene, um, because Pantene does good. But because I also really love Dream Lens, and I know this works wonders when my hair is at its worst. Also, they um, were all half price. Yeah, they were pretty much half price. Um, and it's also for long and damaged hair. I decided to get the Dream Lens hair mask. Um, Mum loves her soap and glory. I absolutely adore. There's two hair masks that I swear down saved my hair. Um, after bleaching my hair, it felt like it was straw, and I was so scared that it was just going to break, and it was just... I, I was gonna lose all my hair because it was so damaged and mum had found this like bamboo and banana one or something like that and that literally repaired my hair so much and then we found the Alviv one tried that and that one worked wonders too so yeah because the bamboo and banana one was a tiny yeah. top and was really hard to get in this country because it's it really from China it's a really hard one to get so we tried to find one that we could use and I also have to be careful with the brands because there are certain brands I cannot use because my skin just doesn't like it I've got really sensitive skin, but Alviv, Pantene. I don't use Pantene often. I think that one can sometimes irritate my skin. Yeah. But but if we... and mainly Alviv and Avon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I got them. They were both like half price. Mhm. Mm and then because we'd done the indulgent stuff and three for two, we decided that we would spring for a. Okay, a lot of you may think, what, what, it's just a gift bag, why, why just buy a gift bag, are you giving, I'm not giving it to anyone, mine, um, my plan is, is once I have, like, a shelf, I'm gonna put this on the shelf, so it's, like, on display, not because I want to show off that I have Ted Baker, although I am, as just you, kind of Ted Baker obsessed, yeah, I will be kind of putting some Ted Baker stuff on display, oh, and it comes with tissue paper, oh, awesome, <laughs> that will work for my scrapbook, um, I want to put, like, not my stuff that I use a lot, but like my extra, so like my extra body sprays and... You can also put your perfume in there because I'll keep it in the shade. Yeah, well, no. Because the way I'm going to have it is my perfume will be in the shade. Alright, okay. Um, and like, I'm just going to have like the stuff that I still use, but it's not like I need straight away. I don't need it at that point. It's stuff that I, wouldn't, I know I'm going to need later on. Because my big Ted Baker body spray bottles, I'm just going to use them to refill my little ones i think if i can because they're liquid they're not like whereas with some body sprays and some like deodorants especially they're aerosolized but these ones are liquid and pumped so you should be able to tip them out like yeah i'm hoping spray. i can um they okay, kind of feel fine. like they can so we can look i don't need to do it for a while because i've got loads of little ones um but that's my plan for them so that i can just use the little ones and then if I know I'm going away for a while and I don't want to just bring my little one and I know I'm going to be using it a lot, I would just bring a big one with me. But if I can just, like, get away with a little one, because a little one is always in my college bag. I'm right now using the Midnight Bloom one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch up after the holidays. Yes. I don't know which one I'm going to switch to. But, yeah. Probably the peony, given the way you were ordering around going, I like my peony. Yeah. It kind of, there was one thing we smiled that reminded me of it. Um, But, yeah, I spotted it and it was, like... You could buy three Ted Baker items, or you could just pay for the bag. And we decided, I'm just paying for the bag. That works. Because it just, it's too cute. Yes. And I don't know if I'm going to keep these, but we will see. But it's just going to go on a shelf. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I might laugh, but that's not because it's so funny. It's just because we've been laughing a bit. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Um, we're having a bit of fun, and we've been recording this for a while, so, you know, we've been this for two hours now. It's supposed to be a very even all the do. We've been here for two and a half hours. We have been here a while. I'm dying of hunger and thirst. Please, man. <laughs> Tell them about the teddy. <laughs> okay, so this teddy is from Clinton's. Um, it's a Ty teddy. They were doing twenty five percent off on all Tys. I'm just going with it now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened was we were standing waiting for our Costa coffees because Costa's doing yeah. a fifty pence deal because it's their fiftieth okay. anniversary. It ended today. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't get to tell people about it. But um, yeah. I just forgot to get a photo of me of my Costa. Oops. She turned around and saw a sign for 25% off and she collects them. Yeah. So she was in the store and I waited for the coffee and I'm watching her pick up this teddy. And then she came out and went, what do you think? And I'm like, it's an owl. And she's like, it's a headwig. And I'm like, yes, it's an owl. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently it is actually meant to be like a headwig version for TY. But, you know, they can't really call it headwig. Um, so headwig. Headwig. Um, his name's actually Austin in here, but I don't go with their official names no, through this. I can't. I, I don't like it. I also have doubles, so it's like, can't really do that. Because some of my, like, ones that are, like, this size are doubles. Actually, no, I think they're a bit bigger than this. Um, but, yeah, so this, I'll either call her a Titan or... So if I it's can... a boy, it'll be Titan. If it's a girl, it'll be Titania, and she's Titania. not decided. I haven't quite decided. The reason for Titan is at the ICBP they have this little owl called Titan who I absolutely adore. Um, and as you know, my build over here is called Pan, um, which is named after a barn owl. I was gonna say something funny. Mm-hmm. Um, named after a barn owl that passed away back in 2019, 2018? 2018. 2018. Jinx. Um, so yeah, passed away in 2018 between our visits because we went in june and july and then we went back in november and he passed away in that time it's because um it was because he, he was in his cage like he was in his we don't know what actually no happened. they actually said um he was in an enclosure waiting to go to a show and because he'd gotten into a routine and that routine just broke something just happened and he just couldn't so when he got home they said that something didn't seem right with him he didn't seem himself and then he'd passed away so i was really sad because we were actually at the owl evening um and that oh, my was my birthday yeah and that was already a trauma that like later on became a really traumatic evening for me really um yeah and but i'd walked in i was already feeling a bit iffy that day and we'd walked in and he i'd said oh i'd said mom maybe we'll get to see pan and the lady who was in charge she was actually in charge of volunteering so when i'd mentioned that yeah i came in the owl evening and you told me about pan she was like oh my god that was you i'm like yeah that was me um but she's left now um she heard us talking she was like you guys didn't hear we're like no she's like pan passed away i burst into tears straight away and she shouted over um pan's trainer um who i think still works there and yeah. she'd come over and she was like oh my god like i'd met pan twice and i'd fallen in love but then as working there because i did work experience there through 2019 you m- made many friends i made many friends but titan every time i walked past his cage i'd always talk to him so that's where the name titan comes from and the feminine version titania is shakespeare's midsummer night's dream she's the queen of the fairies yeah um I'm trying to encourage her to like use some more classical names because they're cute. Because Titania yeah. is such a nice name. Yeah, and you know, with my name Artina, because that is like Artina, and then that's also where the Pan comes from. Because Pan, the barn owl, which I think I've mentioned. Artemis, Diana, time. and Pan. Yes. So Artemis and Diana, who are the god and goddesses of hunt. No, the the goddess of the hunt in Greek and Roman mythology. The- and both of them travel with owls. Yes, both of them travel with owls. And as Pan was a barn owl, it kind of seemed fitting. And Artina just sounds amazing. It does. We were just sitting trying to brainstorm it. And yeah. I, I and I've had it. About... I've actually had it a year now. Um, because I had it on Snapchat before I even started social. Um, and it really is part of your identity now. Yeah, it's part of my identity. De- it's actually going to be... I'm branding everything with it. And I'm actually going to see if I can copyright it. 
Yeah, we'll do it at the same time as I do mine. Um, just because, not because I kind of feel like people will steal it. I just kind of feel like having the Artina, and then like, or the Artina well, it's pan. Your, it's your brand, so like, yeah. Just like Kabiri's my brand, even though it's actually my name. Um. She pulled a face there because it's not actually the name it's I was not, born with. No. Um, it's an, also not really your name. It's a name... Kabiri's the full version of okay. Kai. Yeah, but... um, But so, like, everything I do is under Kabiri. So yeah. we're copywriting that so that I can have it... Well, actually, no, we're trademarking that so I can keep it. So we'll do the same with yours. Yeah. Um. So we're going to hopefully do that because i'm hoping no one else having a brand is important yeah especially seeing that i'm hoping to have my own photography um i will be branding and having everything combined so um if we do ever open up a etsy shop we'll probably do artina and kabiri or kabiri and artina mm, artina and kai yeah we'll decide but we'll have it so that with me it's always going to be like artina or artina pan we'll what's well, like so like my street team's got a bird on it as well. I have Kylarks. Yeah. So, like... We, we I think that kinda... was another reason we wanted to do it, because I wanted a way to link me to you. Yeah. So we've got... We, we keep birds in our names as well, when we can. Yeah. But, yeah. So I got her. Yes. Um, I haven't decided. Probably going to go with her, because I seem to be saying her a lot more than I've been saying him. Um. Yeah. It has come down her more often than him. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um. I'm quite happy with her. She's yes. happy. She loves it. She loves that she's now got a nice home. And she hasn't met the rest of the fam yet. So that as in fun. my little TY fam. Um, yeah, that will be fun. Mm. Yeah, that will probably be in my actual vlog. Because, you know, that, that still goes up on Sunday. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Yep. It was good um, to be in on one of your videos. Yeah, you haven't really been in on one in a while. No. Um... But as your stepdad is in the office next week, we can maybe do one in the office and... Um, oh, is he actually in the office in the office? I think he's all, he'll be out of the house in yeah. the office. Well, that's what I mean, in yeah. the office in the office. I think he's over... Oh. Yeah, he's over mm. at work. Oh, okay then. So we, we, have, we actually have the, the office. We had it this week, but we've <laughs> just not used it. No. But we have it for the next three weeks. Oh, okay. So we can actually go in and, like, but maybe we'll instead we'll go down and just set up a dining room table and see how yeah. we do with that. Yes, but yes. But yeah, we're going to be filming more together, I think, yeah. because we've got other stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um, sometimes we'll maybe be up here, sometimes we'll maybe be in the garden when it's nicer, yeah. sometimes we'll be at the dining room table, and sometimes we'll be in the office. Yes, and then, you know, once my room is sorted out, we may even be in my room. Yeah. But that's not going to be for a little while. No, I've got to get rid of the furniture. Yeah all new furniture i will be vlogging all that too so don't worry but yeah i hope you enjoyed our little haul i just want to point out this was not me bragging about everything i got i just wanted to kind of bring you along with it um with our first um trip outside of the house because it's really yeah it's re a really big deal for both of us because we get anxious and we get fr afraid and yeah we find it really difficult so we also wanted to show some of the stuff that's available just in case you wanted to yeah and you didn't know and like some of this stuff hasn't been pictured, so you might want to like risk going out yourself to get it. Um, I will say that in Gloucester, it was very busy. We've seen photos in London that look absolutely ridiculous. So use caution still, I would suggest. Yeah. Um, I can't really say more than that. It, it's, it's very busy at the moment, but we think it's going to be that way because lockdown's lifted. Yeah. So we kind of expect it which is why we wanted to give it a couple of days to calm down and we're gonna see if there's any other like little bits and bobs we want to pick up on saturday if we go in but that'll be part of my normal vlog so it won't be part of this yeah but yeah it was just to share some of the really cool things yeah. that hadn't been photographed that we just thought wow these are really cool yeah. um that especially like the stuff that we got from dunelm those mm -hmm. teddy bear blankets are actually reduced yeah so you may have seen it on there if i just bring it back up you can kind of see that that was 10 we actually got it for eight i think yeah and like we usually try not to spend like loads of money on blankets and that because i have more throws than i can count well part of the reason we do it is because they get washed so often because we use them when we're sick and yeah. we, we like to keep all of them. we like to keep our blankets clean we've both got an anxiety blanket that we like we can only febreze because it's an anxiety blanket and it weighs a ton yeah. um 
so we take it outside and we freeze it once a, every three months. Yeah. We, we replace the blankets that we have on the beds quite often. I do. <laughs> she does. I well, don't replace my throws. No, but like eventually you're going to start taking them out and we're going to use them for like teddy stuffing or whatever because they're not going to be... Yeah, you are because they're going to be worn through. I never agreed to this. We will be discussing that. <laughs> should be donating them to the cat sanctuary or something. But they're my throws. Yeah, I know, my but like, pee. there comes a point where you cannot be the princess and the pea with bed blankets. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I have that many that I can't even have them all in my room. I've got to have um some of them. There, in. There is a vacuum packed bag in my hallway closet of her blankets. Yeah, just because. And my dollhouse, which I'm painting. Yeah, I know, but the dollhouse is out there because you're going to paint it and then yeah. we're going to do something nice with it. Yeah, I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm doing with it, but I'm doing something nice with it. But yeah, you know, we'll be discussing what is happening to my throws. Um The other problem we have though is that like they might be her throws, <laughs> but we have a cat that claims all throws that end up yeah. downstairs, including my green one. Which, which will, will be, be on my seat. Which will be going downstairs. Yeah, I have a blanket downstairs. It's not <laughs> yours anymore, it's hers. <laughs> that she's claimed. Um because you know, Boo can but yeah, we're gonna finish here though because you know Bub is probably gonna want cuddle soon, and I need to go for my shower because it's like half nine. Oh my god, it is half nine. Um, I think we'll finish now and say good night, dear viewers. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe. Yes. Um. Yeah. Stay safe, and I will see you in the vlog. Yeah, I won't. No, you probably won't see Mum. No, but I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> Bye.